Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house, spoil his goods, except he first do what? Bind the strong man. Then he will spoil his house. Emasculation. Nation. Traditional masculinity has officially been deemed harmful by the American Psychological Association. And this is DeAndre Hopkins in a dress with a leopard shirt on, long hair. I mean, what, and woman's boots, are those boots? What makes this a man? His insides? He looks feminine. And this is what they want men, especially black men, to look like. Hair like a woman, clothes like a woman, and especially behavior like a woman. Oh, pouty Negro. <laughs> sullen. That's the word. Sullen. You know what sullen means? Oh, sulking. Crying when he can't get what he want. Whiny. Out Negro, get mad at you as a man and won't talk to you as a man. Dude, man, I've been trying to call you. Man. <laughs> Sullen. Get mad at his wife, won't speak to her for days. Wife, baby, what's wrong? Come on, baby. What <laughs> Sullen. Old sulky, sullen, effeminate Negro. You know where he got that from? His mama, because wasn't no man there to whip his tail when he did it. Amen. Amen. Don't you be in my house sulking and sullen. You're going to talk to me, boy. Talk to me. Ain't that what your daddy did? But you're going to talk to me. Pouty. Feelings hurt. I'm just hurt. Oh, brother. According to 20... 17 U.S. Census Bureau, four out of 12 million single parent families with children under the age of 18, more than 80% were headed by single mothers. 80%. 78% of public school teachers are female. 78, almost 80. Our workforce is now led by women. 60 to 7% of our U.S. workforce is female. 80% of the boys only have female influence at home and close to the same number go out into society to have female influence at school and in the workplace. Toxic masculinity is not the problem. Lack of masculinity is. The toxic masculinity that society is fearful of is a result of single mothers raising emasculated boys that have no idea how to be men. They heard mama on the phone acting that way and that's how they act. They heard every time they asked their mama for something, you know what she told them? Boy, I don't have no money because your daddy didn't pay this and then I got to pay this and I only make this amount of money. I only make $500 and then I got to take this $500. And so soon as he start courting a girl, the girl's like, oh, okay, take her out and then it's time to pay for the food. <laughs> girl, this is high, man. <laughs> I didn't know the bill was going to be $30 because see, I only make $500 a week and then when I make $500, I got to take this off that. See, his daddy would have taught him, boy, don't ever tell a girl how much money you got. That's what his daddy would have told him. You don't talk your money to nobody. Nobody should know how much money you make. Never tell him how much you got. You just go do something you can afford. But he rattling off, got her all nervous, her heart beating fast. What am I getting into? Ooh, this Negro is messed up. Well, the problem is he didn't have a man to show him that. He heard a woman on the phone. Oh, uh, see, I got to pay the rent. I got to pay the back. So now he's out looking for a woman to help him pay the rent and do everything he heard his mama talking about. He don't even believe he could be the provider of the home. I'm preaching in here. To emasculate means to deprive a man of his male role or identity. To, to deprive, this is the dictionary. So when they say masculinity and then they emasculate, they're depriving a man of it. You're taking the role of the man away. Yeah, that's Lil Wayne showing his draws. That's what, that's emasculation. That's what they do in prison as lingerie. A father's not allowing his son to walk around his house looking like this. 
Bro, you pull, pull them up, bro. Why are you showing your booty? That's gay. You don't show your butt in the house. And then why you always got a shirt off? And why your hair so long? And now everybody getting tattoos. They don't even know tattoos was decoration in prison. That's how a man decorated himself for the man he was sleeping with. That's where that got popular in the black community. Remember, it used to be like they knew you was a prisoner when you show up with a bunch of tats. Some of y'all too young to remember. To defeat the man takes, takes away the protection of this world. This is why the devil wants to do it. God placed man over everything by giving him dominion. Dominion means that he is responsible for it and all the creatures in it. In order to spoil it, the strong man must be conquered. Society is reversing God's order. This is antichrist and anti-creation. By emasculating men, the devil can keep men out of their rightful roles and force them to operate without God's authority. All right. We're going to talk about all the ways that men are emasculated in this nation, and then I'm going to bring this to a close. Y'all going to give me time? All right. Fatherlessness, role reversal, female empowerment, new age church, witchcraft diet, low T, cannabis, narcissism, covetousness, roommate syndrome, sexual vice, homosexuality, and male birth control. All these ways, this is the way our nation is emasculating the man. We're going to go through them one by one. Y'all good?